Hi everyone, I'm here again for your daily phonics session. Uh, before we start, can you make sure that you have a pencil and this sheet from your home learning pack? If you don't have your home learning pack yet, um, you can get this sheet on the website. Um, but just to let you know, all resources are in the learning pack, so it would be good if you could go to school and grab it as soon as possible. Okay, let's start. So we're going to start with a revisit and review. Um, but before we do that, I just want to show you that, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to add in some new tricky words. Okay, and um, these are the next level. It's not all of them. It's just some, but we're just going to start increasing our tricky words. So we've got we, he, she, me, and be. So Let's put those on the pack. So, are we ready? So, my turn first. We're ready. No. The. Go. To. I. Little. Into. We. He. She. Me. Be. Okay. That's your turn, so are you ready? Well done. If you uh, want to learn your tricky words a little bit more, there was a sheet put in, I think it was Home Learning Pack 3, and it has all of the tricky words. It's in green writing, and I think it's got a picture of Biff on it. So you can practice those, you can practice reading them, and you can practice writing them as well. Okay, let's start with our revisit of our graphemes. So are we ready? So my turn first. So, as in sun. Ah as in apple, t as in teddy, p as in pan, i as in insect, m as in net, m as in man, d as in dog, g as in gate, o as in octopus, k as in cat, k as in key, k as in duck, e as in egg, u as in umbrella, R as in rabbit, as in hat, b as in bone, as in fish, as in cuff, u as in lion, as in sorry, back, u as in hill, as in dress. Okay, now it's your turn. So, are we ready? Okay, well done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm just going to say the phoneme's name, so the grapheme that you can see. So are we ready? My turn first. S, A, T, T, I, M, M, N, D, G, O. Ooh. Ooh. 
okay, now it's your turn. Let's hope you don't make a mistake like I did. But if you do, that's fine, because it happens. Okay, are we ready? So your turn now, so. And back to the beginning. Well done. Okay, so we now have today's graphing. So let me show it to you. It is this one. Where can you see? J as in jug. J as in jug. Your turn. Okay, I've got some words and I'm going to all really segment them. So what I would like you to do is listen really carefully, push those sounds together with your ears and then shout the word out as loud as you can. So are you ready? First one, are you ready? J -a -m. That's it. Jam. I'd like some jam on my toast. Next one. J -e -t. That's right. Jet. I can hear a jet in the sky. And the last one, a little bit longer. Just. Just. That's it. Just. Just come and sit down. Okay, I'm going to put it into the pack. So, there it is. There's the pack. Pop it in. When you see it, what I would like you to do is shout what it is. So you will shout J as in jug. Okay, so we're ready. Did you spot it? Well done. Okay, I'm going to put it in the pack again, but this time I just want you to shout. J. Okay, so are you ready? So I'll continue in the pack, but I've hidden it again. So are you ready? Well done. Did you spot it? Excellent. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at our book page. So let me just share my screen. Okay. Here is our screen all about J. As you can see here, here is the graphene J and here is the jug. J as in jug. And you can see that the j in jug is at the beginning of the word. Most words have j at the beginning. There won't be very many words where j is in the middle or at the end. So it's mainly a beginning sound. Okay, I'm going to just give you a little minute, just have a little look and see what you can um, find out about the picture. So if you want to pause now, you can just stop and have a little look and look closely at what you can see. Okay, so here we've got our picture. Now, first, we're going to start with our questions. So are you ready? So who can you see? Who can you see in the picture? Pause the video now and talk to your adult. Who can you see? I can see mum and Kipper. And I can just see that floppy He's just leaving the picture there, so we can just see his, see his bottom. 
and his legs. Okay, so we can see mum and we can see Kipper. So, what is happening? What is happening there? Pause the video now and have a look at what is happening. What is happening? Kipper is making a big mess and mum looks like she's shocked. Her eyes are wide open and she's looking shocked and as though she's shouting something. She could be shouting, Kipper, what are you doing? I think that's what's happening. Okay, next question. Where is it happening? Whereabouts are they? Where is this happening? What, where is it set? Pause the video now and have a little discussion with your adult. Okay, let me look closely. I think they could be in the kitchen, maybe, in the kitchen, because it looks like there's some cupboards and there's a table and I can see lots of food and you normally find lots of food in the kitchen. Okay, and finally, what might happen next? What do you think could happen next in the story? Pause the video now and talk to your adult. Mm. What could happen next? I think that mum is going to make Kipper tidy up all the mess because he has made quite a big mess. Okay, next part. So let's have a little look at the picture. So we're looking really closely for things that start with the j sound, okay? So in a second, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a little look. If you look now, you can see that there's some little um, little speaker icons which indicate that there is a j sound there. So what you can do is have a little go at guessing what you think they are. How many can you get? Pause the video now and have a look for some j things in the picture. Okay, so what have you found? So let's have a look here. I can see that there's one here next to mum's ear but actually it's not next to the ear it's next to this thing hanging from her ear and that is an earring but an earring is part of something called jewelry jewelry can you say it well done okay the next one just here on top of kipper's top okay what sort of top do you think it is that starts with a Jumper, that was a guess from me. Jumper, can you say it? And you can hear the j at the beginning of jumper. Okay, there's another one here down at the bottom. Now it's on this little soldier's back. Now it's on the back of his body part here. What do you think that could be? That one is jacket. The soldier is wearing a little red jacket. Can you say it? Well done. Okay, now is where it gets a little bit tricky. So here, we've got one here. Now this one is a, well, it's, it's, it's a bit tricky because it's not what you expect it to be. This one here is jar. There is a jar. Can you say jar? Good, well done. Okay, then we've got, oh, this one here. Now, Kipper is shoveling something into his poor Teddy's mouth and he's getting into a bit of a sticky mess. What do you think Kipper is putting into the bear's, well, it's not into his mouth, it's just onto his mouth, isn't it? What do you think he's putting onto the bear with that spoon? Begins with a j. And it's really sticky. That's right. Jam. Jam. Can you say it? Well done. Okay, there's another one here. Now it's a little orange puddle. It's a bit suspicious with uh, floppy over there, but this one is actually juice. Juice. Can you say it? Good. Okay, and there's one left, this one here, and this one this is an unusual picture because I wasn't sure what it was at first 
but it is actually jelly. Jelly. Can you say it? Well done. So we've got j j jewelry, j j jacket, j j jumper, j j jam, j j juice, j j jelly, and j j jam. Quite a lot of j things going on in this picture. Okay, so. What we're going to do now is you are going to need your sheet, okay? So, please can you get your sheet in front of you? Because what I would like you to do is have a little look at, where is it? The first two sections. So here at the top, we've got how to draw, not sorry, not how to draw, how to write today's graphene. So as you can see, you start here at the spot, you go, down and curl and then lift and spot okay so we've got j as in jug so you can practice doing some j just practice it over the top with your finger you can colour in the jug and then what I would like you to do is practice reading some of these words so blend them have a good look at them if you need to put a circle around all the j sounds you can okay have a go um, if your adult ticks, the ones you can read, and if you're if you're struggling with one, you can put a little spot next to it and come back to it at another time. So what I would like to do is pause the video now and have a go at the first two sections: this one here and this one here. Pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. So I hope you got on well with those two sections. So then we've got the next two sections. Okay, here is an opportunity for you to practice writing the j graphene. So just as you did it at the top of the page, can you now practice them a little bit smaller? You can go over the top of these ones and then continue to the end of the sheet, okay? When you've done that, there are some pictures here. Okay, we've got a picture of jam, we've got a picture of jelly, and we've got a picture of a juggler, okay? Can you think back to that picture of Kipper and his mum in the kitchen? Can you think of another J thing? Something that was in the picture that started with J. You can colour these pictures in and then can you draw something new that starts with J? You might have something different, an idea of your own that's not in the picture and that's fine. Just have a go, colour those pictures and draw something that begins with J. Pause the video now and have a little go at that. Okay, well done. So the next part is blending, okay? What I would like you to do with your pencil is have a little look at the sentence on your sheet. It's quite long. In it, there are quite a few j. With your pencil, can you draw a circle just around the j sound? And then when you've done that, have a little look, are there any tricky words? If there aren't any, doesn't matter. If there are, can you put a circle around the whole word, okay? Work through the sentence with our reading routine, okay? Have a go now, pause the video. Okay, and finally, it's the segmenting section. So you will need your pencil for this, okay? So the first word that I would like you to segment is the word jam. Jam, okay? So with your fingers, are we ready? Let's segment it. J, A, M. Again, J, A, M. How many sounds is that? Three. Okay, let me just stop sharing my screen so it's a bit bigger. That's it. So three sounds. So I can do three lines. One, two, three. Okay, so what is the first sound in jam? That's right. Actually, can you write it down first? Jam. Pause the video and write it down. Jam. 
Okay, welcome back. So let's do it together. How do we segment jam? J, a, m. What's the first sound? J, j. What's the next sound? A. Well done. And the last sound? M. Mm. Jam. I'll just make that a bit dark so you can see it. Okay, jam. Now we've got our word, let's write it as a whole word. J -a jam. Did you get it right? If you did, give it a little tick. Okay, next word. Jet. Jet. Segment it together. How many sounds is that? That's right, three. Can you put your lines on your page? Pause the video now and have a go at segmenting jet. Don't forget to write the whole word at the end. Okay, let's do jet together. What was the first sound? What have you got? J. E. T. Well done. Let's do it as a whole word. J. Is that what you got? Well done, give it a tick. Okay, last one. Just, just. A little bit longer, are we ready? J, O, S, T. J, O, S, T. How many sounds is that? That's right, four. Can you put those lines? on your board or paper. Okay, pause the video now, have a go at writing just. Don't forget, write the whole word at the end. Okay, let's do it together. J, O, S, T. What's the first sound? J, O, S. Just, let me move this in a little bit. J, O, S, T, just, well done. I wonder how many ticks you've got. Did you get three? Did you get two? Did you get one? I'm sure you put in lots of effort. Okay, so the last thing that we have to do is write the little caption. Okay, now the caption to go with J, is this so ready so listen carefully jess and jill get on a jet listen again jess and jill get on a jet Okay, let's count those words on our arms so we know how many words we need. <laughs> Sorry. Jess and Jill get on a jet. Seven words, quite a few. I'm just going to put seven up there just to remind me, little number seven. So, seven words. What is the first word? Jess. Okay, what I would like you to do is pause the video now, work through the sentence thinking carefully about where that j sound is. Don't forget your finger spaces. Then we'll come back and we'll do it together. Pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. So I hope you got on really well with that. And um, so our sentence was, Jess and Jill get on a jet. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move a little bit pull this over so ready so what was the first word in the sentence it was jess jess so let's say great jess J -E -S. now it's the beginning of my sentence so i need to start my sentence with a capital letter this is a capital j j what's up 
eh. S, which s goes at the end of the word? Is it this one? It's digraphs, because that's an end sound. So we've got Jess. Okay, next one. And, Jess and. We know how to spell that, that's easy. Finger space. A, uh, d. Jess and Jill. Jill. How do we segment Jill and spell it? J, I, U. Now, because it's a name, we're going to do another capital letter. J, I, U. Which U? Is it this one? No, it's digraph U because that goes at the end of the word. So, Jess and Jill get. How do you spell get? G et. G et. Let's read and check. Jess and Jill get on. Finger space. O. U. Jess and Jill get on. Jess and Jill get on a jet. How do you spell jet? J et. J et. Jet. Is that sentence finished? How do we know? Full stop. Okay, let's read it back. Jess and Jill get on. A jet. Now it was seven words. Have we got seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we have. Did we remember our j? We did. Well done. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Come back tomorrow. There will be a new graphene for you. Okay, well done. See you tomorrow. <laughs>